All right, guys, it's a uh, lunch break, and I'm about to go have a little fun. Uh, it's an old E7 head. Y'all see that? There we go. We're about to cut it up. We're going to take a look see in there. I'm going to cut it right uh, in the middle of the intake valve guide and the exhaust valve guide. This will kind of give us uh, guys at Port Stock Heads an idea of how much meat we have to work with. Check this out. This is so cool. So this is the intake side. So you know, get your air coming in and dropping in here. Uh, where your rocker arm goes, this is where the push rod goes. It's your valve stem. And uh, that's how much meat you have to play with uh, on the short term. Um, anyways. That is pretty dang cool. When, uh, when I do E7 heads, I always clean up right here. This transition is always real nasty. Anyway, uh, the exhaust side is cutting right now. Uh, we'll take a look at it here, here in a second. Alright guys, I'm back home. And uh, as you can see, uh, the head's been cut. Like I said, it's cut uh, on the center line or close to the center line of the valve guide. And kind of give us an idea of uh, what the ports look like. So let's go ahead and peel it back and, and take a look see. Okay. So this is the intake uh, port. Uh, this right here is where your push rods go through. That's where your rocker arm bolts down. This and this and this, this and this is all water. And this is uh, your valve guide. So just looking at it, um, <clears throat> it looks pretty good right here. And as you go in, it just chokes down big time right there. Y'all see that? Big time choke point there where the valve guide is. So what I wanna do on the next set of heads I port use my redneck laser pointer is trim this and just like do away with this part of the valve guide that way the only thing in there is the valve stem in in the port I'll leave this here but trim this out I think that would make a pretty solid difference this here is the uh, the other side of the intake port uh, so what do y'all think about my idea of cutting that back? How, how crucial is that? Is that a big no-no or can can we just skin it back and forget about it? Now, another thing I like to do on the E7s, there's nothing quite as good as your own eye, but I'm trying to get the, the lighting and the angle right. This right here, this is where it goes from being machined to as cast um that right there you can work a put a die grinder right there and work that real nice and uh, that makes a big difference so yes yeah, this is the other side of the intake Let's see if we can get a, take a gander down this thing get the light just right what do y'all think about that sorry if it's shaky or I'm trying to get the I'm trying to get the lighting good without blinding us <clears throat> look at it backwards kind of maybe anyways oh, I can't get that right let's see anyways okay Now for the exhaust side, let's take a look at this. Once again, orientation, uh, push rod, uh, rocker arm, bolt down there, your valve guide, this is water and water. Um, and this right here is your thermactor, you like your EGR kind of stuff. Anyways, so what's the first thing you do? Like how do you, how do you get initiated into do it yourself port work. 
grind out that little bump. Let's see how I do it. Hold on. Grind out that little bump right there. So first thing you do, that's a you've joined the Junior Porter Society once you've done that. Five big old horsepower. I don't know what it's worth, but it's a good thing to go ahead and get rid of. Uh, same thing on the exhaust side. You can see where it goes from being machined to just you know how it was cast. And you can work that. And you know it's you know these were these were mass produced. They didn't have a real whole lot of time to to deal with the details, but when you're a budget racer, the details were where all the difference is. So like I said on that, you can work that, uh, work the guide a little bit. Um, with the water jackets, I, I forgot to say, you know, what, seeing how much meat you have, you kind of kind of guesstimate how much you can work, you know, before you get up in the water. Um, now obviously, you don't need to be cutting this high, so I wouldn't even wouldn't even worry about that. But uh, anyway, this this is the good thing to take a look at and see, you know, if you're about to pour some heads. Kind of, kind of get an idea of, of how far you can go before you get in trouble. Well, last but not least, the other side of the exhaust port. Actually, look inside the head now on this one. And a lot of room for water in there. Yeah. I love these cutaways, man. They're so cool. I like, I like looking at a cutaway just about anything. <laughs> Whether it's a real cutaway or if it's like a kind of a picture, a drawing, or like a breakdown of a blueprint or something. Anyways, kind of get an idea there of how much meat you got to work with. Um, just, yeah, just a suggestion. If, if you like this kind of stuff or this video, uh, push pause. I'm trying to go kind of slow, but push pause and screenshot anything. That might help you. That way, whenever you're working on your set of heads, you can go back and look at a picture and kind of get an idea of what you're working with. All right, guys, I guess we're going to wrap this up. So, quick overview. All right, guys. I guess gonna be about it. What's up guys? So this is where I am. I'm not going back out in the garage. I'm too tired. I ended up working over today. Yeah, excuse me. I'm just wore out. All right, about the head cutaway. Man, that's just so cool. To me at least. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope you liked it. Um, I apologize if the camera angles or the lighting was, was poor. Uh, there is no substitute for your own eyes and for your own hands and feeling in your fingers. I mean, you can learn a lot through what God already gave you. So um, I hope the, I hope the cutaway helps you. Um, I read an article a long time ago about working the bowls on E7s um, and shaving them. And I want to say that they claimed like 20 or 25 horsepower, uh, which is pretty impressive. Um uh, they also said the car actually just ran better. They said that, you know, with the stock heads, it was kind of starving. So, like, it, they said it's, it's, it just, it was a better running motor when they were done. So, anyway, after cut, getting those things cut open, I'm, I'm kind of fired up again about, um, porting a set, you know, experimenting with a little, experimenting with them a little bit. Um, also, uh, I'm a, I'm a fan of shaving heads. So, you know, talk to your machinist uh, about, you know, what what you're capable of. I've, I've done 20,000s before and had good luck. Uh, the more you shave, the more compression you get. Compression is power. And it's also sound. So if you want your car to sound good, you need a little more compression. Uh, anyways, that's it for me. Uh, I'll see you next time. Boop.